guys, I'm in my kitchen literally cooking and thinking about some of the topics that we're going to talk about this week in science class. And so I thought that I would take a quick second to share one big idea that we're going to, you guys are going to start with on Monday and continue on with on Tuesday. And that's the idea of concentration. Okay, Concentration. Concentrate. Here, got some grape juice here from concentrate. It says frozen concentrate on it. Or frozen, yeah, frozen concentrate. And what that means is this all relates to the idea of solutions that we've been talking about. Okay? A concentration is really just that ratio that we look at as to how much stuff is in the liquid. And the more stuff that it has in the liquid, the more concentrated it is. So, if I were to take one of these fantastic drop-ins that we like a lot at our house, open it up, put it into a glass, okay, this one's strawberry, and add some water to it. Hang on one second. If I were to only add this much water, it would be really, really strawberry. What it says on the directions is to add eight ounces of water, okay? This is way less than eight ounces of water, so this is a more concentrated solution of the strawberry drink, okay? Now, my husband actually likes to have more than eight ounces of water in his strawberry drink because he likes his drink less concentrated. So, if I were to take my concentrated grape juice solution and add more water to it, it's going to be more or less concentrated than what it is right now. Think about it it's going to be less concentrated. The more water that it has, then the less stuff per water that it's gonna have in it, okay? So right now, this is more concentrated. This is less concentrated. There is more water in there per the stuff that it has in it, okay? And we can compare these ratios when we look at different um, solutions as to how much stuff or how much solute is in your solution. Okay, Solute, the more solute it has, the more concentrated it is. But if you increase the amount of solvent, then that is going to decrease the concentration of it. And we're going to get more into that. We're going to actually look at fractions. So if something was one half concentrated compared to something that was only a fourth concentrated, the one half is going to be more concentrated. So you guys are also going to have to know a little bit about fractions as well. Huey wanted to say hello. All right, so I'm going to get back to cooking my lunch. I hope that you guys have a fantastic night and we will see you in class. Concentration, the ratio of the solute to the solvent. That's the main thing I want you to get out of this today. See you later.